Hi, this is Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book called The Bremen Town Musicians, and it's retold by Ruth Belov Gross, and pictures are done by Jack Kent. There was a there once was a donkey who was getting old. One day he heard his master say, that donkey is too old to work, so why uh, why should we feed him? If we if we won't feed him, if they won't feed me, thought the donkey, I will run away. Maybe I can't work for him anymore, but I'm a good I'm good at music. I will go to Bremen Town and be a musician there. And the donkey set off out for Bremen Town. This Bremen. <clears throat> On the way, he met a dog. What's wrong? Said the donkey. You are out of breath. I'm getting too old to hunt, said the dog. I heard my master say he wanted to kill me, so I ran away. But what shall I do now? I know what, said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen Town to make a little music. I can bray and you can bark. Come with me to Bremen Town. We'll be musicians there. So off they went to Bremen Town. Soon they met a cat. What's wrong, said the donkey. You look as sad as a rainy day. Why should I look happy, said the cat. I'm getting too old to run after mice. I heard my mistress say she was going to drown me. So I ran away. But what shall I do now? You are good at night singing, said the donkey. Come with us to Bremen Town. We'll be musicians there. So off they went to Bremen Town. Soon they met a rooster. What's wrong with you, said the donkey. The way you crow, it makes me want to cry. I'm crowing while I can, said the rooster. I heard my mistress say she was going to cut off my head and put me in a soup. You have a fine voice, said the donkey. Come with us to Bremen Town. We'll be musicians there. So off they went, the donkey, the dog, the cat, the rooster. At night, they came to a forest. It was dark and they were ready to go to sleep. Rooster looked around. I see light, he said. There must be a house near, near here. A house, said the donkey. Let's go. See the house? So off they went. Before long, they came to the house. The donkey looked in the window. What do you see, said the rooster. What do I see, said the donkey. I see a table full of good things to eat. I see robbers at the table and they are, eat they are having a good time. I'd like some of that food, said the rooster. So would I, said the dog. But how can we get rid of the robbers? Let's all think, said the donkey. They all thought hard, and soon they were ready. All together now, said the donkey. One, two, three. Hee-haw, bow-wow, meow, cock-a-doodle-doo. And they came crashing through the window. The robbers ran away, and the four friends ate and ate. Then they put out the lights and went to sleep. The robbers were hiding in the forest all this time. Why did we run away, they said. We're, there's nothing to be afraid of, but they sent one robber back to make sure. The robber went into the house and he saw the cat's eyes shining in the dark. Ah, said the robber, I see that there are still some coals burning in the fireplace. I will use them to light my candle. The robber went right up to the cat and the cat spit at him and scratched his face. Help, help, said the robber and he ran to the door. The dog jumped up and bit the robber's leg. Help, help, said the robber and he ran outside. The donkey woke up and gave the robber a good hard kick. Help, help, said the robber and the noise woke the rooster up. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. And the robber ran away from the house as fast as he could. Help, help, he cried. What happened, the other robbers asked him. 
Oh, he said, a horrible witch spit at me. She scratched my face with sharp nails. Then a monster near the door stabbed my leg with a knife. And then a giant hit me with a club and a ghost screamed at me. The robbers never went back to the house again. And the donkey and the cat and the dog and the rooster liked the house so much they stayed forever. They never went to Bremontown to be musicians there. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I hope you like this book and please subscribe to our channel.